The Naperville Central boys tennis team has had a common goal the past two years to take home its first tennis state title. Uh, last year we thought we, were, we had a chance to compete for a trophy um, and we took a little bit of time to walk our hallway where they have all the trophies and uh, took a look at them and talked about how special it would be for us uh, last year. Uh, we came up short last year in sixth place, but I think that helped make the guys even more hungry coming back this year. The Red Hawks put themselves in prime position to achieve their goal. With only the third place match in one singles and fifth place match in one doubles left, the state title will go down to Naperville Central or New Trier. The Red Hawks needed to win both matches to take home the outright state title. I definitely knew. I knew the situation going in. We were tied, but it, it was kind of cool that we were both right. Both the matches were right next to each other. So I was like, all right, this is kind of just a dual, a regular dual match, just with a little bit more uh, pressure onto it. So I went in and just took care of my side of the court. And Ryan Regner took care of New Trier in straight sets to take third place in one singles, which by the way is the best singles finish ever for the Red Hawks. With Regner's win, Naperville Central clinched at least a share of the state title, and not long after that, the doubles team of Bill Zhang and Martin Matoff gave the Red Hawks the outright title with a tight two sets win over New Trier. That's unbelievable. I mean, winning state, especially the first time in program history, um, with all the teammates here, my parents, especially senior year, it's un undescribable. It's something that I couldn't imagine happening again, but maybe it'll happen next year, who knows. But just to be part of that and just to know that I kept my head cool and just played so well under such immense pressure is crazy. The state win was a total team effort. The Red Hawks won the title with zero top two finishes, and since Naperville Central won by just two points, the top 32 finish and three points that freshman Joseph Lee earned in two singles proved to be key. I wasn't the one who contributed like the most points, but I know that it is a team effort, so I know I'm pretty proud that I still managed to get three points as a freshman going into state my first time. So yeah, I know it's a team effort, and I'm really proud of what I could do for this team. The five points in top 16 finish from the two doubles team of Amar Saeed and Mark Polochak was also key as the whole group bonded over its teamwork. It just connects us in, in a different way that other schools probably can, like not having a star per se, but like all of us did our part. It really is unbelievable. I mean, most of us, like we, we wake up the next morning and we're like, did that really happen? Is that is that really what happened? And it's just so, so cool to be a part of it. Like these guys have been working so hard. With only Bill Zhang graduating and the Red Hawks bringing back the rest of their state tournament team, Naperville Central will be one of the favorites to repeat as state champions in 2018. For NSW, I'm Kamen Enchev.